Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into my YouTube channel. If you have been to this channel before and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm going to continue to put out some content twice a week and uh, hopefully, hopefully you like it, hopefully it's helpful. Today I want to do a tip that is something that I've done for a while. It's, it's really quick and easy and, and basically it's to prevent an issue that can happen when you're catching them fast and furious and that is when you've got something like a uh, slither rig, which is a tungsten weight that, um, that basically has a skirt on the back of it. So that's kind of, that's what the Sl Strike King slither rig is. It's, this is a, I believe it's, it's an ounce and a quarter and it's got a place to hold a skirt on the back of there. Kind of see that the skirt kind of, there's a little collared section where the skirt can slide up over it and uh, hold the skirt and then obviously you can just fish this just like a Texas rig but it gives you the bulk and the appearance of the skirt so it's kind of a it's like a jig but it comes through really heavy cover really well and one of the things that I noticed is every once in a while you get to catching them really well and they'll actually pull on that skirt while you're setting the hook because they've got a great hold of this thing in their mouth and the plastic bait that's on there, the Texas rig hook that comes out behind here. And what will happen is sometimes that skirt will pop off that little uh, skirt keeper or collar back there and you'll have to kind of try to put it back on there. And of course, when you're catching them fast and furious, you don't really want to mess with that. So what I have done is taken some wire. This is copper wire. This is some copper wire that I've had for a while. I think this is like, I want to say like a 30 gauge. It'd be a 26 or 28, somewhere in there, but you get the picture, kind of a, a thin wire gauge. And I'll just go ahead and um, cut off a, maybe a two or three inch section like that. And then I'm, I'm gonna, what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around my uh, collar and do away with the little rubber skirt collar and just use the, uh, the copper wire or galvanized wire or whatever you might have and it helps to keep the skirt from coming off. Same thing, I'll do the same thing with all, like a lot of jigs too. This is a Strike King skipping jig right here. And with that skipping jig, sometimes, um, you, you know, that the skirt can come sliding down. When you get on a good jig bite, you get a big fish. And uh, sometimes that skirt can come sliding down. And so this is just a quick fix for those types of things. An, an added benefit to having that wire tie is you can get that silicone skirt material even tighter than the rubber band or the rubber skirt collar band and what ends up happening is is that that skirt will puff out and flare out and also it'll be under more tension so with that those little silicone fibers or silicone skirting material will actually catch more kind of like a, a guitar string that's under tension it'll kind of, see, it'll be more rigid, it'll kind of flare out a little, it'll billow out a little bit more, and then the water going over it just gets some more movement. This is just something that um, I've noticed, and I feel like it, it helps me, obviously, keep the skirt collar from sliding down. That's your number one thing, but also gives the, gives the uh, bait a little bit more, a different appearance. And uh, so with that, I'm just gonna get right into how I do that. It takes a little bit of time, but it's really an easy thing, and anybody can do it. So here we go. Three. Once I've taken my little three inch section of wire, I'm actually going to first kind of separate the top half of the skirting material from the bottom half so that you, it'll expose that, uh, the collar right there. Just try to get it all, if you can see what I mean there, I'm, I've got it all separated. There's no top skirting material on the bottom or lapping over or anything like that. So once you get that going, then you just take this wire and wrap it around in both directions. So basically you're getting it to where it wraps around twice, just like that. It just basically went, went around twice. And then I can just go ahead and take my pliers and tighten this down, pull on that, pull on both of them, and then cross them over, kind of like that. And then you're just gonna do like you would, basically what you're gonna end up doing is spinning that around just like you would the, the tie on a 
on, a, on some bread that you might have, that you might get at the grocery store. This is just like a basically a bread tie. Tightening that down around the base, and you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. I've tightened it down around the base, and, and it's definitely really kind of braided up there or wrapped around itself. And then I can just go ahead and cut that off. And then I can slip that little skirted collar down. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of bend that over a little bit and give it a good squeeze. And then I'm just removing that rubber band off there. Because you can get the wire right there tighter than the skirt collar, it'll really help keep that on there. I mean, it's not going anywhere. And, it, and of course, it just kind of has a tendency to want to flare out a little bit more. It's, as you can see, it's, I've tightened it down really well and it's, it has a tendency to want to uh, kind of flare that skirting material out. So that's really it. It's really quick and easy. I'll, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how I do the, uh, the jig. And sometimes one of the things I'll do before tying one of these is I'll make sure that I get the, the skirting material evenly distributed around the jig. Sometimes um, the skirting material will be a little bit lopsided or what. And, and if I have that issue, um, before I tie it down, it's harder to uh, manipulate it and get it more evenly distributed around the jig itself. So once I kind of get it evenly distributed around, then um, I'm going to go for another piece of wire. So we've got about a three inch section right there. And this wire that I have here in the garage, just for the sake of this uh, demonstration, is maybe a little bit lighter than I like. It's definitely easier to work with, but um, I might go up in gauge, uh, I might go up in size to, um, to a little bit heavier one, just so it doesn't have uh, a problem of breaking while I'm twisting it tight down on that skirting material, the silicone skirt. So again, I do the same thing that I did with my striking slither rig and I separate the two just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and wrap that copper wire around there or whatever wire you might have. And it's kind of, it's, it's a little diff, it's a little challenging to keep it from getting wrapped up on the other, the, all the silicone material. But if you can just try to keep one section, like I have the head headed section down here. Now I, I've kind of cut that a little short. That's what happens when you get it a little short, but you can kind of again, and then, so go ahead and pull that tight. And then again, cross it over, cross it over like that. Now, once you get that crossed over, just go ahead and twist it into place here. And when you're twisting it, it's creating that extra tension to get the, the silicone skirting material nice and tight. And then once I've done that, just go ahead and cut the excess off. You do not have to remove the skirt collar if you don't want, but I generally do. Sometimes it's hard to grab that little skirt collar, so I'll just grab an extra hook that I might have laying around and, and see in it now I can just pull that off just like that. And then I'll just slide it all the way down over the hook and of course, make sure you've mashed that wire in place. And the, still the beautiful thing about putting this wire on your jigs, again, is it really keeps the skirting material from sliding down and that whole process. But if you notice, it, it, wants, to kind of, it wants to kind of billow that out. So, uh, and you can still manipulate it around. If you notice, you've got a little bit too much on one side, a little bit too much skirting material on one side, you can kind of move it around and get it 
to where it's uh, kind of evenly distributed around the jig head. One of the beautiful things about it also is because you can get that wire tight on that skirting material, it definitely keeps it in place. It doesn't, you know, it has a, has a tendency to keep the skirting material right where it's supposed to be, um, both with the jig and the slither rig. I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, just a quick little tip that I wanted to share with you guys. If you like this tip, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and until next time, good fishing.